Gaffer, how do you assess that draw with Bromley then? Well, under the circumstances, it was a, it was a good point, a point gained. You know, I always say when there's a couple of points lost, or um, I thought the lads were, you know, they they done our club proud. You know, they was out there against the strong Land of the Giants team uh, in Bromley, and it sometimes it takes you a little while um, to to get a team that big, keep them together, and then add. Uh, the size to their team, you know, you saw subs came on and they were they were massive as well, and and we had to compete. They do go direct. They're very strong at doing that, and uh, and I felt we coped with that, and I'm really pleased that we coped with that because on average we was probably everyone, you know, our players were six inches smaller per man, but we competed in the air. We competed, and. Um, and they do get late goals sometimes, so I was pleased that we we went straight to the right to the end, and you know and the fans kept with us, which was great um, because you know once again we were a bit disappointed with uh, with a decision that's um, that hasn't helped us. You'll be there before me, though. I think, despite being down to ten men, Gaffer, from the 38th minute, I think it's fair to say that your team had the best chance of the game, probably in both halves. Yeah, we did. We we created some good opportunities in the in the first half. Um, and the goalkeeper made one fantastic save from um, Connor's header, you know, and uh, it was across from Stephen Wern. It was a good, and then we had another. Well, we had two or three chances there. It was just blocked and just couldn't quite get him in. We had a bit of penalty area play, and I was looking forward to going into the second half with eleven men and and, and trying to pepper their box again, but. Um, it wasn't a B just before half time. You know, it's a long time for the lads to, to play with 10 men um, against, the, as I say, a strong side that are going direct. Because it's not as though you can shut them down. The, the minute they get a, a bit of space, it's down your throat. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the boys, really pleased with them because um, they did show some great character and great uh, endurance. Um, so, well done to everybody. Because like you said, Gaffer, you were lacking in numbers, you were lacking in inches as, as well out there on the pitch, but you certainly didn't lack any heart. And, and in the end, you've come away with a clean sheet. And uh, Sean's made some good saves today, but he hasn't been overworked, has he? No, he's not been overworked, but what he did, he did well. did very well. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's been very solid for us. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's played his part again. He certainly earned his money this week. And you mentioned in your programme notes today that March is going to be a big month for your side. And this isn't a bad way to, to get it going, is it? No, it's not a bad, a bad one to get March going. You know, I try and give them sort of like different targets. You know, we was unfortunate we've drawn four on the trot now, so you, you, you're losing points along the way. However, you know, there was a lot of draws today. So, you know, while you're, while you're still in it, and I did say to you, you know, when there's 10 games to go, you've got to be within single figures. Uh, of the playoffs at least uh, we're still in single figures like I think it's nine points behind and um, but uh, you know you can get that because we play we play some of them teams and uh, you know if we can keep that spirit up I think what you've seen is nobody's given up not me not the players not the fans um, so you know and obviously not yourselves because judging by the questions and the, so that's that's nice so if we don't give up we haven't give up who knows we've just got to keep going for it Thank you for joining us, Gaffer, and congratulations on a really hard uh, point. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you.